If you've ever been to New Mexico, the sky there is, I mean, it's all sky at night. It's astonishing. The local governments have worked together to reduce light pollution and provide for these very clear, uh, startlingly clear, star-filled skies. It's a remarkable place to do astronomy. The skies of New Mexico have inspired astronomers since ancient times, playing a critical role for civilizations that thrived here more than a thousand years ago. Now they say the astronomy is the second oldest profession. It's a rather cruel career in terms of what it takes. There's a lot of nights you spend alone, shivering in the dark, and you don't always get exquisite data. Sometimes you have to wait for conditions to be exactly right, and when they are, that's when the discoveries happen. Cloudcroft native Dr. Alan Hale has his home and observatory a few miles up the road. That's where he first spotted the comet that bears his name. I guess I've been spoiled because not only have I lived a good part of my life under a dark sky, I've made it a point to do so. There was no reason to think that this was going to be anything bright. And then when the first orbit calculations started to show that A, this was very far out there, and B, was coming in close to the Sun and Earth, and therefore had to potentially be a very bright comet. That's when things really started to get interesting. People come up to me all the time and say, oh, oh, your comet was so good. I enjoyed looking at your comet so much. We went out in the desert and a word like that. I said, you probably saw it better than I did. Because I had to go to all the big cities and give big talks. So I didn't get a really chance to see it all that much when it was really bright. In recent years, Dr. Hale has opened his mountaintop site to students and amateur astronomers through the Earthrise Institute, taking his lead from perhaps the most inspiring high-altitude image of the 20th century. We had an entire generation of people come of age that never really have seen the dark sky. Part of what I wanted to accomplish with Earthrise is to create an environment where students can come and actually spend some nights out under a dark sky and see what it really looks like. 